And what we discovered was that, yes, they were, they were paying more for their climate control than they needed to, but in addition to that, you know, it just wasn't adequate for the museum, museum size. Uh, in addition, we found that a lot of the systems, there were five chillers, and a lot of these systems were, inter were not interconnected. As a result, they were feeding separate zones within the museum, and any of that equipment went down. That entire zone was without a backup. And this is one of those things that we integrated into the overall program. Um, right now, as you can see, there are a few dehumidifiers within the galleries that are still operating. Our goal is to remove all of those and to really provide a climate control system that both saves energy and, and safeguards uh, their collections. Um, the problem also was that without having a central system, all of these things were being managed manually and the facilities people here were really working hard to keep everything going. Uh, the system today includes three integrated chillers in, in a central plant. And these are state-of-the-art chillers. And, and in working in tandem, if any one of those chillers goes down, not just a chiller, a pump or a motor, if anything goes down, the other chillers will pick up the load and provide the safe part, uh, that uh, additional cooling that's necessary. Um, on top of that, we were able to preserve two of their chillers, their existing, two of their five existing chillers, and provide those as an emergency backup to the backup system. So these are the things that we've been able to provide to the museum. Uh, the facility manager, uh, Richard Andrews, can actually manage 